Alright gang, today we have an empty shifter that we're going to be putting in Miss Krista's little beetle. Okay, here we have the lockout plate. When you put this in, put the short leg toward the driver's long leg toward the passenger. Okay, the way this works, it's the, the, the standard shifter, the stock shifter, whatever. You would normally have to push down and over and back to get reverse on one of these little cars with this lockout plate and your thumb press with that short leg toward the driver I hope that I do a good job in showing you how this is going to work the way this is going to work you see this pin here when you push the thumb when you depress that thumb piece that is going to let you let me get this the right way toward the driver had the right way to begin with short side toward the driver okay when you push this thumb release, it's going to let you go over and back to get reversed. Okay, let's go get this thing installed. Here we are in the car. I hope I've got you in a good camera angled where you can see what I'm doing. Right now, I just want to clean off a lot of this old stuff around this shifter because I don't want to be dropping any debris down in there. I want to make sure it's in neutral. There we go. There's neutral. Taking our washers out. Washers and bolts that is. Both. Okay. Now we're going to set that aside okay we've got a new lockout plate so we're not going to be needing this old lockout plate and you can see how this is oriented I believe I already went over this in the in the shop there we've got the short leg toward the driver the long leg with the little ramp here toward the passenger okay I'm gonna go ahead and carefully get this cleaned up We've done a pretty good job about cleaning all that up and keeping the dirt out. I've got just a little dab of grease, okay, and we're going to put this back the way we took the old one out. All right, short leg to the driver with the flange up, okay. Now, I'm going to set this down where it's supposed to live okay and what I want to do now is get everything I've got my wavy washers got those cleaned up and I had I had to run and get these bolts and I think that's our fit right there okay now I did not measure these when I went to the store there when I went to the store, I just got something a half inch longer than what I had in my hand, and I didn't measure these, and I should have. I'm guessing that's about one, one, maybe one and a quarter inch. I'll tell you what, just for you guys' sake, I want to go measure that real quick, okay? Okay, I'm going to use the measure on the side of my Leatherman here, okay? That is a one and a quarter inch. A one and a quarter inch bolt is what you're going to need there. All right. Now, let's take our other washer. I'm trying to keep this thing centered. Okay. Looking at my hole, keeping it centered there. And I want to take a little break here uh, before I forget. I want to give a shout out to my buddy over at uh, the Rusty Glove Box. Check him out. He is a very fine fella very informative and he's got a lot of really good videos um, or a lot of good videos on his channel I wanted to give him a shout out he actually took an old shifter and did some restoration work on it so big shout out to the rusty glove box on the YouTube he's been a a long time long time buddy on the YouTube and he's a really good guy really intelligent and uh, 
he puts out some really good, really, really good videos. All right, let me get 13 millimeter. Okay. We're going to snug these down. Now, I'm not going to actually be able to test this thing completely. I want to run it through the gears here, but I'm not going to be able to see if I need to do any adjustment until we get this little car running. So, sorry about that. But we had another sunny day here in southern Ohio. And, okay, got that snugged up. Yeah. Yeah. Another sunny day in southern Ohio, and I wanted to do something on this little car outdoors uh, while, you know, make hay while the sun shines. I've got the shifter installed, everything snugged up. What I want to do now is just give it a little test and see how it feels. Okay, we're in neutral. Okay, there we got reverse. One, two, three, and four. Very good, man. That feels nice feels nice it's, these are a really neat a really neat upgrade if you will to the old long-legged standard stock whatever you want to call it shifter provided by Volkswagen um, really good stuff I like them I like them anyway you can see this is another thing we're going to have to be doing on this little car we're going to put floor pans in it eventually this is it looks like they put a piece of plexiglass in this floor and uh, covered it all in in fiberglass that's what it looks like they've done I'm thinking this is edge of a little piece of plexiglass I guess pretty creative but that's not what Miss Krista is going to want to live with forever but anyway I guess it keeps you from seeing the road as you uh, as you travel anyway guys I want to thank you for tuning in I really appreciate it trying to rebuild my channel from I took a long hiatus there uh, for a while I appreciate all the subscriptions and the likes appreciate all the comments you guys have a have a wonderful day